Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week and a great night, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover, and every kiss and every touch you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 183, Nasdaq's up 84, S&P's up 28, gold contract down 1360 at 18.57 an ounce. You got silver up 18 cents, $22.28 an ounce, light sweet crude up a buck. 41, $119.91 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 14 ticks, trading 118.12. The 30 year up a full point, plus seven ticks at 137.28 and King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading down 127, 102,310. Euro 107, yen 132.55, and the British pound at 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, is you get a rejection of lower price, you're going to have lighter volume. So let's just go through this whole scenario. You know, we're going sideways for five days. Yesterday was a big day. The reason it was yesterday was a big day is this. You can see that, you know, you bottom line, you had got over the highs of Friday. Friday had 71 million shares. Today, what you had... Yes, they had 57 million, and he gave it up on price. When that happens, guess what? You're gonna try to go downtown. What do we do this morning? We try to go downtown. What happens? It rejects lower price, and you're gonna have lighter volume. When that's set up, folks, next move is gonna be going after the swing high inside of the SPY at 417.44. And we'll see how that shakes out, man. You know, my, my take is that, you know, we're going to like 3,500 in the S&P, but uh, the cash S&P, but the bottom line is that right now, this thing wants to go charge this 417 once again, and we'll see what it shakes out. Now, what you want to be really, what you want to be watching is this. If, in fact, this is going to be a, a bigger counter trend bounce, well, what you want to be watching is that, okay, how does it take out the swing? If it takes it out with volume, you get yourself an ABC structure up. That's the bottom line. And, and it would be a big ABC structure up, by the way, okay? It'd be a 37A to B. Which, uh, which is a big number. So keep your eye on it, man. NDX 100, same type of setup. You take a look at the NDX. What do you have with the NDX? NDX out here, three Qs, bottom line, same type of setup. Yesterday you failed on price and volume. You got up to the price point of 312. You closed out at 305. You had volume of 51 million versus 60 on Friday. What do we do today? Just the opposite. Today, the bottom line, you have no sellers. We got down to the price point of uh, 302, 668. That was testing the 302, 40. You get if 36 million shares, well, you're going into 59 million. We'll do about 46 million shares. So also the Qs, they're going to be going after this at 314.50. And, you know, we'll see how it shakes out, man. See what get any juice going uh, to the top side. Gold. Gold, same type of setup. What gold did out here today, pretty cool. What you have, come on, baby, there she is. Okay, so what gold did is this. Get the volume here for us. There we go. So what you had with gold, gold got down to 1838 today. You're coming into 150,000 contracts. You did one, you've done 111,000. It's not going to have it. A rejected lower price at lower volume. Now gold's also going to make that run for that uh, 1878 mark. And King Dollar, this is you want to keep your eye on because it looks like it, it's really intriguing. It, you know, markets always change. That's the bottom line. But what seems to happen now is that if the dollar gives up at all, the, the market itself seems to get a little juice in it. And this is a. Uh, this looks to me like an ABC down setup. You know, it failed on price today at 102.730. We hit 102.839 and then basically gave it up. So if it's an ABC down, we're going to be down like at the 99 area inside of that market. Now let me show you something with Target. So this gets really interesting. Target had got a little bit lower, folks, okay? 
the bottom line, it would have been a test of its high volume low. It didn't get there. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't get into Target, man. But the bottom line is that what you can see is that Target came down hard the first time they came out with the numbers. 145.51's the number. Well, it hit 147.15 today. It's not good enough. That's the bottom line if, you, if you're taking a look at it. That to me is just not good enough. It, when you get a test, you, you want to test with lighter volume and a rejection of lower price. That's, that's what you're looking for. And, you know, bottom line, we didn't get that yet. But what Target does not have is it does not have a high volume high. And that's a huge deal. Now, let's get over to the OIH because this is the OIH is talking, walking, and squawking out here today. If it holds price, it's going to get intriguing because what it's done is that it's come up to its highs once again. The high in the OIH is 312.58 or 312.78. Volume there was 1.1 million. We'll see whether they can get that. Right now, you're at 769,000, and we'll see whether it holds price. If it holds price, you get some action. If it doesn't hold price, that's going to be a test of its high on lighter volume uh, and a give up. But guess what? Right now, it's up 876. You go over to Exxon Mobil, you're going to see the Exxon, Chevron, they got some real juice behind them. You know, they're doing a leg up. You got Exxon up $4.17. Um, you're at 103. CVX, you take a look at Chevron, Chevron's up 347, that's peeking its head out, so that last high was, that's 180.96, we hit 180.53, yeah, we'll see whether it can basically hold it. You, get, you do have a contraction of volume there, but the bottom line is that you get some buyers in there. 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrial is up 166. NASDAQ's up 80. S&P's up 26. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Mm -hmm.